This is Ed Tech Talk of Mr. Dan. Hi, Mr. Dan, and so are all those other pictures of me. Let me get that off there. Let me, uh, let's jump to, yeah, I don't want to see that either. Let's go to the internet. And I'm going to show you today how to uh, use uh, Google Docs to work collaboratively with a person from a distance remotely. In this case, my son, who is all the way in the living room, and I'm here in my bedroom. But we're going to work together uh, via the internet on making a little poster. So let me get into my private Gmail account today. I'll get into my account. I need to go to my drive. Click on the tic-tac-toe board and I come over and I look for Google Drive, that symbol. Um, I'm going to make a new document and I'm going to use the drawings, the Google Drawing. And this is a fun thing for kids. Kids love to use the drawing programs and that's this is just like paint or most of your other basic drawing programs. It looks like this when it comes up. I'm going to call it, I'm going to rename this to be a um, example, nothing too creative, we'll just call it example. Okay, now once I've renamed it, I need to come over here to share it if I want other people to be able to work on this with me. So I hit share and I wait and up comes this little share with others windows. Now I will click in here and I will put in the name for Wade, my son. I'm going to say, hey kid, let's work together on this. And I'm going to give him editing rights. I could also just give him comment rights and view rights, but I want him to edit. So I do that. And now it says it's shared with one person. Well, look who's here now. Hello. Hi, Wade. I just shared this document with you. Oh, okay. So now I'll check it out. Yes. Why don't you go to the other room and pretend you, you're on in China or something, and I'm over here in Casablanca, and we can... Uh, work collaboratively from very far, far away on the same document. Bye. Alright, so in a moment he'll check his email and he'll receive an invite and he'll say okay and up here we should see a uh, indication that he's logged on and is active on the document. In the meantime, let's look over here at these options. Whoop, same with Windows 8. You gotta be careful with that thing. Like most of these Google documents, you have all these options. Um, once we're done, we can download this as a PDF, an SVG, a PNG, or a JPEG. We can also publish our drawing directly to the web. It'll create a URL and we can send that to Grandma on an email or something and she can look at the poster we made. Uh, if this is an ongoing project, you could add to it and email the collaborators saying, hey, check it out, I added something. Uh, you can add it to an email as an attachment and so on. You can print it, of course. The inserts are nice. We can insert a text box. So maybe we try that first. We'll start. Just say, howdy. All right pretty straightforward and of course you can change all the fonts and sizes here 
make it big so we can see it, change the text color, make it colorful, and you can even make it a hyperlink if you'd like, take you to someplace else on the internet. Click there and insert your URL. Change the color and underline it, but you can do that. You can draw lines of different sorts, straight lines, arrowed lines, elbow connectors, curves. Um, scribble is always fun. I like scribbling. There. And then, of course, you can tilt these things. Well, for some reason this isn't tilting. Maybe I need to get my arrow back. There. And then I can rotate all these things. Inserting a picture is fun to do. And when you do this, you get all sorts of options. You can take a snapshot to your cam. You can put in the URL of a, of a graphic that you know of on the internet. You can check your albums, your Google Drive. You can just search the internet even, which is always fun to do. I'll put in a mouse. Search and comes up with this one. I like this little guy here. We'll put a mouse picture in. Oh, look. Like I said over here, my son now has logged on. And he is probably getting these images up on his screen now. Here comes the mouse. Hello, mouse. He's big, and he's covering the whole screen. And I can't see that other stuff. All these things are put on in layers, and so I've lost the stuff I've done. It's, it's there, it's behind the mouse, so I need to go to Arrange and Order and send my mouse to the back. And now you can't really see it because it's in dark. Whoop, Wade moved my mouse. But now I'm going to delete that squiggly line. I think he beat me to it. Yeah, see, he has, he's grabbed my mouse now, and he shrank it down. Okay. Oh, he flipped him over. How nice. I'm going to add another picture. Maybe I'll put in a lion. Now that we have a mouse, we'll need a lion. Ooh, some picture there. I like this guy. He looks very majestic. And again, it takes a little bit of time. Now, he's writing some text there. I want to communicate with Wade. So I'm going to click on comments, comment again, and now I get this little comment box. And say, what do you think of my lion? And I hit comment, and now he will get that on his screen and be able to respond to me. I'm on the ceiling. Now, one thing I don't see on here that I'd like to see on Google Drawing is that you can't just paint the background a color. You have to do some tricky little thing like get a, get a shape, like a square. I'm just going to make a small square first. I'll send it to the back so I don't cover everything up as I do this. I send it all the way back. Send two back, all the way to the back. So now, and I stretch this over the whole canvas, and now I've painted it blue, basically. It says, I'm on the ceiling, ha, can't cat, cath me now. Well, maybe we need to work on some spelling. Okay. I want to add another comment here. Um, I believe you want to write catch instead of calf. Okay, and so you see these comments can stack up. Once we're done we resolved whatever we're discussing, you hit resolve and the comments will vanish. Just 
just uh, make sure we've covered most everything here. Oh, you can do spelling search. You can do research. Uh, play with that. Insert a table. You can put a table of sorts in here. And each of these cells can be formatted with color and all that. Um, and he hasn't changed it. That's driving me. So I will change it. Oops. I will correct his spelling. I'm on the ceiling. catch me now. All right. Oh, let's make that a call out. That's too cute to leave in regular text. So we will come over here and go to a call out. Maybe this one. And we'll flip it upside down since the mouse is upside down. And we will send it back. can't really see it because of the background. So let's change the background color. Make it yellow. Okay, now I think I sent the, I'll have to send the background, the yellow all the way to the background. I'll bring this forward so that it's on top of the picture a little bit. Step through this one. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Let's make the lion think something. Maybe he can be thinking. Get this howdy out of the way. Click and drag that up. Whoops, I think I grabbed the yellow background. There, I want that. Get Howdy up here. Maybe Mr. Lion is saying something like, I wish I were on the ceiling. been writing some things on the comments. Hey, I'm in China. Uh, okay, very nice. Well, there you go. As I said before, once we're done, we can we can download this in different formats. We can publish it to the web. We can email it to somebody. It's a fun little collaborative thing. And this basically this whole collaboration system works on all their Google documents. You can do straightforward word kind of document you can do your slide presentations together those are great projects for kids um, make ebooks that way collaboratively and all of them can instantly be published to the internet it's a lot of fun so this is mr. Dan saying so long and we'll catch you next time bye bye